Hello everyone, I'm Gaurav from Logitudes and in this video series we are going to talk about we are going to learn about Bootstrap and for the latest version that is version 4 and for the kind of information that uh, version 4 is still not fully launched and still in the alpha version but still uh, we can implement those uh, files and those classes used by the version 4 to our older or uh, make completely custom web template from it okay so let's go uh, get into this uh, version 4 the first thing i need to do is uh, i need to make a folder so i have a folder here uh, named logic boot where we are going to uh, implement all these our files and everything okay and the next thing we need to go is go to get bootstrap get bootstrap.com okay and from here what is going to be happen that uh, you can see that it's currently using the version 3.3.5 and still not uh, initially gave here the, on the main page for the version 4 but yeah you have oh yes bootstrap 4 is coming fine so you can go click over here okay and this is the blog of bootstrap where uh, they displayed the demonstrator about the version 4 you can go and then click over this image Okay, click over this image to get into the version 4 uh, website properly. And if you need the direct link, it's v4-alpha.getbootstrap.com. Okay, so now uh, go ahead and use this. Uh, you can build the Bootstrap website in two ways. Other, either you can go and download the Bootstrap. So we are going to download the Bootstrap here. Okay. And the other way is you can just go directly to the um, and link from the bootstrap source code online. Okay, so uh, download the source from here, right here. Okay, fine. Save the file. It's getting saved. And now we can go over and test for the getting started thing. Okay, so here we have everything that we need to start with the bootstrap and quite simply um, in bootstrap we have a very fantastic guide that guides us to make or modify any bootstrap template fine so let us go into our uh, downloads folder documents it's downloads and here's the bootstrap version 4 okay we are going to this we are just going to copy this over here and you can go and extract it here right now okay and now we have the file name bootstrap and all the classes and all the files javascript and all the documents are over here in this bootstrap file fine so now you can go and you don't actually need this file right now or you can go and rename this file as bootstrap or whatever you wanted to okay the next thing we need to do is to make the first page first web page of our website Okay, so now let's go to our uh, text editor. We are using the Notepad++ here. Okay, and now let's go and save it as uh, libraries, uh, logic boot, and here we save it as index.html. Fine, we can go uh, run it off from here, and we can see we have our website ready. But now we have to uh, include the bootstrap everything classes and everything over here okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to go into the get getting started thing okay we are already here and we need to get into this the starter template we need to copy all the lines of codes over here and then we need to go and paste it over here okay then you get, can easily save it right there and then now you can check go and directly check the page that you built from and you can just refresh and it may take a while longer to display this message and just because all the links and references uh, of CSS class or JavaScript is loading online okay so over here you can go and change this particular line of codes and then you can uh, redirect it directly to your um, downloaded bootstrap files and then you can get it easily done and 
everything will be in your local host even though they are not connected to the website uh, online server ok so now let's go and change it out so first of all we need to remove we need to know what is the uh, structure of our uh, root structure root url of our file so uh, we have our css file the bootstrap dot css file over here so under the bootstrap folder we have this and under the disk we have CSS and here we have bootstrap.css okay so let us just go and delete some few words from here and here we are so the location looks like this bootstrap then this under that CSS and then bootstrap that CSS okay so we are here and we are linked again now Leave this ajax.google APIs like that only because uh, if you need to use a ajax later on, then you can directly link it from there. You don't need to download it from anywhere else. Okay. And the next thing is you can uh, just go to this line as the above line and you can just change it like bootstrap. And under that, we have a folder named disk, and under that, we have a folder named js, and under that, we have a file. A JavaScript file that is bootstrap uh, bootstrap.js. Okay, so now let's go and check our website right now. And yes, you can go and test that it's working fine, uh, no changes overall, and all the styles and everything is ready over here. Okay, you can just go and test it out and write something over here. Welcome to Logic Cubes uh, Bootstrap for tutorial fine you can just go and refresh your page and you can see our bootstrap template is now running fine and we are on the first move to build the bootstrap 4 template okay so that's all for this uh, tutorial this video and in next video we are going to uh, go build the components of these bootstrap and learn more about it okay so uh, meet me in the next video till then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching and learning thank you